anything in particular to do on in these allotments? Well, we've got one or day. two uh, things that we've arranged ourselves. Which was the one I've just told you about, like this, this uh, night we had it was for all the families and the children as well. Uh, we've had two this year up to now. Uh, depending on the weather, I think the next one's going to be Christmas. But uh, it was very good. There were 135 people here, mm. sat down to a meal, had the entertainment on, fireworks, everything. Things for the kids early on. Mm. Up to seven o'clock, they had to go home at seven o'clock. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was very good, and it's bringing bringing everybody closer together. Like, you know. How long have you been working on the allotment? Nearly 30 years. Yeah. 13? 30. 30 years? Yeah. So you've seen it change in that time? I'd say about 27 years, I think. Yeah. What have been the main changes in the allotment over that uh, time? I think we've got more self-sufficient. Uh, we, we used to rely on the council a lot, but the, the way the things have gone with the council and cutbacks and everything, you know, we, 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 just, we, we have been thinking about going self-management. We've been offered uh, to take over the management of the plots between us and the uh, council had given us so many years with the water rates and all this and that. But we, we, we've not made our mind up what we're doing yet. There's quite a few people interested. Others mm. set in the ways, don't want to do anything different. Like, you know, I think we would be better doing because we're more or less doing everything for ourselves anyway. I mean, uh, what bit of road you can see we've done ourselves. We've reinstated all this building here, turned it into a shop and council and uh, committee rooms. Put a new roof on it ourselves. Uh, more or less everything that's happening on here now we're doing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we take the offer up from the council, uh, whether we would drop the rents a lot or use the money towards maintaining we're yeah. doing new roads now. Well. Very bad in winter. I'm John Job. I'm part of the allotments. I'm new tenant for the new plot holders on Weast, new Weast allotments. And th this is a recent initiative, isn't it, by the council to fill up more spaces in here. I, I understand they made the plot smaller. Yeah, they made the plot smaller. I think it's just to try and get more people off the waiting list. But did it work? It, I don't know. I don't. Nothing to do with the council, me. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, doing the push, making them smaller, it's not good enough. It's like with my plot here. Uh, I'm full. I can't do any. Can't put any more boxes in, and I would like to have more boxes put in. But you just got to live with it now until until it can get bigger. Well, there's talk that the council may hand over the management to the the committee. Have you heard about this? I've heard about it. I'm not in favour. No, we've not we've... in favour at all about it, actually. Why is that? Is it because they're going to ditch their responsibilities to you, or? It's to be honest. It's like if there's a problem with sewage and everything, they're going to have to pay for it themselves, and then it's going to increase our rent. They can decide what we pay, what we have to pay and everything with the council to set rate and we're happy paying with the council's rates. If there's a problem with the drainage, the council will come in and do it. If it's self-management, it's the self-managed people, the committer. The yeah, you suddenly find a massive bill now. And they're gonna find a bit, they're gonna try and have to find the money and they're not gonna be able to get money for other stuff what's needed, mm -hmm. services and stuff like that for glass cutting and everything. You're gonna have to pay for it. But they won't have no money to find it because they paid for the drainage if it goes. So now, if they, can't, if they stay with the council, the council will come and do the drainage. So how long have you been working on the allotments here? Oh, uh, six years. But well, we've, we've had the allotment for six years. Yeah. So I've been working on it for six years, yeah. But then um, with numerous, uh, numerous support, you know, with local residents. Yeah. I, I, I'm the tenant, but it's, it's, it's falling on behalf of Sofa Men's Action Group. To promote a more positive lifestyle, healthy eating, oh, getting see. out, not not going in the pub all the day, all, 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 all the time. Some of us. What are you growing at the moment? Oh, right. You've got some onions, onions shallots, broad beans, raw beans, runner yeah. beans, dwarf beans, potatoes, um, peppers, 
tomatoes, cucumbers, leeks, lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower, the general. We tend to you, um, utilise our allotment to the limit, you know, use every bit of ground.